Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 33, and this is war number 11. We've got one war after this one. And we're going up against an alliance called uh, he Hayosh de Zion. I probably just mangled that name. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's really late. This was one of those weekend wars, and I started uh, late. As you can see, we only have seven hours late. Pl uh, plenty of time, seven hours left. But I usually join much earlier than this. But on the weekend, it's sometimes uh, a bit difficult. But all right, we'll go in here, and here's the bands. Okay, you got Dr. Doom, you got Human Torch, and you've got Corvus, all banned. Uh, now, I don't normally bring them in, but let's uh, take a preview here. And of course, the war already started. Um, I believe at this point in time, three of us have not joined yet. But look at this. So I take path three in sections one and two. But two of my um, my alliance mates here have already attacked and lost to this dragon man. And there's only one attack bonus left. So I'm very nervous about that. Uh, I don't know that I have anyone... Uh, to really counter him, maybe Warlock, but because of that node, uh, especially that static defense, we've seen what happens to Warlock when the fight goes on long enough. That Those uh, shocks will build up and take him out. Uh, as far as Claire goes, one of my alliance mates had Claire and lost her. So it doesn't seem like she's a great option for this fight either. So I don't know what to do here. You know, it's the uh, second to last war. So I know people are not really uh, feeling putting in, you know, top effort or anything. But we'll see. I, I have asked my alliance to see, you know, what they think. Warlock is the only one that I would probably bring against him. And we'll see. We'll see what happens. So the middle is already cleared. Of course, uh, Section 2 is not cleared. Um, Spider-Man 2099 could do that fight with, um, with that uh, Professor X. And then, of course, Claire for uh, this Colossus and this um guillotine 2099 and again warlock could do that nimrod even though i barely won the last time against uh nimrod with my warlock but he did manage to do it and then we've got a mojo boss spider-man 2099 will tear him up so only that first mini am I really concerned with. I can I can fight the second mini and also this Professor X, which let me see, what do they have? Do they have I can't see. They probably have um unstoppable armor like everybody uses. Um, I'll see, I guess, but that, uh, Professor X fight, I might die, you know, once to it, but I, I could do that fight. Um, and then of course the, uh, boss, I don't know. All right. So I will be back and I'll see what uh, they say before I go in. But I know now why they, uh, it was very smart of them to take out Doom and Human Torch because both of them 
uh, I would have thought about using for this particular fight here. So that was some good bands. I hate bands, by the way, but um, that was definitely a good use of banning. All right, we'll be back. I don't know who I'm going to all bring in. I'm thinking I'm going to bring in this team, Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Spider-Man 2099. But if I have to swap out somebody, then somebody has to fight the others that I think I can fight with this team. But we'll see what they say. All right, so be right back. All right, we're back. And I'm going in with this team. Now, you'll notice I have an attacker tactic, attack tactic, and I don't usually even pay attention to them, and I don't think this helped me at all, uh, at least in this situation. But anyway, as you notice, I'm going into this war a bit late. Uh, it, the war was over the weekend, and normally I spend time with my mom and my sister on Saturday. So it was not until Sunday morning. I actually fell asleep, forgot all about war. And Sunday morning was when I finally entered the war. And I looked and I saw that uh, both of my alliance mates on the left side were stopped at that mini. And I wasn't sure. Um, I'm trying to remember which mini it was. But uh, I didn't really want to deal with it. And so I was talking in a uh, line and one of the guys said, okay, you know, I'll, you know, try again when I tried it before, you know, I think it was a dragon man or something like that. Um, he got wrecked and he had Black Widow clairvoyant. And so I'm like, well, that's who I was going to use. So now I don't know who I want to use on that fight. But he went in and he cleared that. All right. And, um, this fight here, uh, I was worried. I was fighting kind of scared because I didn't know what was going to happen. But nothing happened. And I was able to knock him out pretty uh, easily. But uh, you're going to see a fight that really ticked me off. It ticked me off. And we do get a chance to do a boss fight. All right. So anyway... Um, as you can see, the middle is cleared and you're going to see me pass my alliance mate right there. Karun. Uh, he went ahead and cleared that mini right there. And so I went ahead, uh, and continued on my path. Uh, I also took the mini on the left and, uh, you'll see, I took another mini, finished it off in a uh, mini boss Island and the boss. All right, so standard fight, of course, with uh, unstoppable uh, armor makes the fight just annoying and more stressful. Thank you. And uh, I really don't like our uh, unstoppable armor, uh, which means they'll probably keep it. Uh, but it seems like I, I don't think trying to remember somebody can look back over my alliance war videos has there been an opponent that hasn't chosen unstoppable armor this season and if so how many i can't remember i really don't remember uh but anyway so i went ahead and uh got him down and i couldn't quite make it on this one uh to the guillotine 2099 and so i went over into line and i was like okay i don't have any energy right now but when i can reach that nimrod i'm gonna get him uh but as you can see uh it wasn't Caron, but the other um alliance mate tried that nimrod and uh died so i'm thinking all right you know i've fought nimrod he beat me twice i got him that third time this time he's already hurt he will heal up in the middle, but in the beginning, but we should be able to handle him uh, in this fight. All right. So first we got to deal with Guillotine 2099, who is annoying, but she's actually not really that bad to fight, especially if you are used to fighting her. So one of the things that you do 
first thing that you should do is hit her with a heavy attack. That's going to put her um, Digicloak on cooldown and give you opportunity to actually attack her without a chance for her to do that. So you see this? Boom. And she dexed me. I'm like, really? But then I got her that next time. And it's on cooldown now, so I'm just fighting like normal. No problems here. All right, pushed her to a special two. Now I'm trying to get out of the way, and I kept parrying. I didn't want to parry. I was too far away to do the uh, a heavy attack. All right, I tried to do a heavy attack there, and it didn't do anything at all. So you saw parry, and I just stood there. I was trying to do a heavy. But we got a heavy there, and then I'm like, you know what? Let's just keep doing this. Um, and I'm just going to hit her with a special three. But I remembered what happened last time when I tried to do a special three and they had a special. So this time I was like, no. And do you see what happened right there? That is why you want to hit her with a heavy attack. Because her chance to go Digicloak seems to be way more when you're fighting her. I hit her once. Bam! Digicloak. But I saved the special three so I could finish her off with a special three. And she's down. So not that difficult. Uh, pretty straightforward fight if you know how to uh, deal with that digi cloak, because that's really the pain and misery uh, of fighting her, not knowing when she's gonna start going digi cloak and then just start wrecking you. All right, this fight. So I'm gonna talk to you while I'm doing this fight. Now, as I said, I fought Nimrod on this node three times. Twice he got me. Once I got him, it was a really close battle. All right. So I'm like, all right. I did not do an invulnerability boost because I was starting to run out of him, first of all. And I didn't think I was going to need one for this fight. Now, remember we have Unstoppable, and see he did heal up a little bit in the beginning. Um, we have Unstoppable armor we gotta deal with. But I'm trying to build up the infections, there we go. Now I can go in. All right, there's that Unstoppable. Oh, I hate that thing, man. Y'all just don't know. I can't fight. I can't fight properly. It completely wrecks my fight flow. It's, it's really annoying, guys. All right, so here we go. I managed to get the special two off, which is why I did the um, power boost, uh, um, advanced power boost. I got clipped by that, all right? And see, I couldn't even go in because I don't know. Look at how many uh, timer things are over there to the right. And I'm trying to fight him and try to see, okay, is the timer about to go? Is he about to get the armor up? So I have to wait and watch for the uh, unstoppable. This is not fun. This is stressful. Okay, all right, so here we go. And I just blocked it. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. He's unstoppable, all right? Okay, he does that after special two. No problem. All right, so here we go. Going back in, boom, all right? We'll wait that one out. He didn't punish us on that one. All right, we're going back in. All right, we've got the infections up, so we're good. And then he went unstoppable again. So my entire special one attack, nothing. Right into the block. All right? Now, watch this, guys. I want y'all to see this. 5%. Why did it dash back? Why did it dash back? And now, he's unblockable. I'm like, are you kidding me? And then I couldn't do anything. That ticked me off so bad, y'all don't know. So, in the middle of a combo. I'm about to kill him. Look at where he's at. I just needed to finish my combo. I don't know what just happened, but for some reason, my OBS just stopped recording. That was so weird. But anyway, all I had to do was finish my combo. That was it. And it just dashed back. And I promise you, I didn't stop in the middle of my combo to dash backwards. I wasn't playing with him. I didn't say, you know what? He's almost dead. Let me just back off so that I could deal with his special too. And then when it did dash back, 
I was fast enough to just hit the block because I knew what was coming. And he went unblockable. And that surprised me. So I'm sitting there looking at it going, I don't believe this just happened. I had him. And he went unblockable, but I survived it. It did not respond after that. Nothing. And he just took me out. And I tell you, if I had lost that second fight that you saw there that I finished him off, I would have had to walk that one off. I would not have been able to deal with losing twice like that. No way. All right. So anyway, after a bit of saltiness, I stopped here. You can see where we're at. And um, one of the guys who hadn't joined yet, uh, he came in and he asked, you know, what he should do. And uh, uh, one of the officers told him what to do. And I said, hey, if you can do those two minis, I can take that boss. So he was like, okay, he'll do that. So I saw that, you know, my alliance mate was having some uh, trouble here with uh, this Vision Arcus. And Claire is great at fighting Vision Arcus. Very, very good. Now, my plan when I first went in here, I was going to manage power by staying in Curse of uh, Plague. But I noticed that, first of all, he didn't gain a whole lot of power because she nullified his power gain, which is one of the reasons she's great uh, for him. And I was like, you know what? He's almost dead anyway. So I went into Curse of Plague, you know, bait out this last one. And here we go. Boom. Special two. Done. One and done. All right. So next up, you're going to see me fight Mojo with Spider-Man 2099. And uh, spoiler alert. Mojo got embarrassed. Mojo faced the full wrath of Spider-Man 2099 because I was still pissed about what happened with Nimrod. I think I saw him cry.
yeah, I really do think I saw Mojo crying. And do y'all notice? Full yellow bar. I ended the fight with a full yellow bar. All right, so this war was extremely close. So let's find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Look at the score. I told you it was really close. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.